Hi guys and welcome back. Jay here from BornToBoost.com and hope you're well. In the last lesson we put down a groove and talked all about Groove Agent, which is the inbuilt drum machine. In this lesson we're going to be adding some chords on a piano. Again, with an instrument that is built into Cubase already. So let's do that now. Let's just add an instrument. And this time we're going to use Halion under Synth. Halion Sonic. Again, comes free with Cubase, AI, LE, Elements, etc. Add track. Now there's all kinds of sounds in this, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sounds. I'm going to use a piano, so you can just come up to here, click in this window here, and you can filter by type, etc, etc, and come up with what you want. Or you can just type in what you want here. So feel free to choose via this window here or any of these strings or whatever, you know, any of these synth leads, anything like that. But I'm going to choose mono upright in the acoustic piano section. And I can play it here on my, on my, using my mouse, of course, or I can use my MIDI keyboard. Now, obviously you are free to, if you're a piano player or keyboard player, then you'll want to record probably in your own chords and your own playing, of course. Why, why would you not want to do that? But if you're a newbie or you're not a piano player, then this feature is for you. Click chord pads, and here we have chords all ready to go for you, simply by clicking a mouse. Or again, one single key on your keyboard. And so this is chord pads, and it's just absolutely phenomenal. You can change these chords as much as you want. So the right hand handle on one of these pads changes the voicing. So like inversions. Many, many different versions, and it tells you what it's playing here. If you look at this keyboard here. Down the bottom does tensions. And the left hand handle makes basically is an editor, so you can change it exactly how you want. So you choose your root note here, choose the type, major, minor, diminished, suspended, whatever. Add the tension, whether it's with a seventh or a ninth, or you know, all those ones we just went through. And you can choose a different bass note here if you wanted as well. So we've got a C there. You can also come over here and load a preset, load chord pads preset, and there's many, many here to choose from. So like a pop one or something like that. Just double click it, pleasing pop chords one, and it will change all the chords at the bottom here. So that's really, really useful. You've also got another really, really handy feature called Circle of Fifths, which is Show Hide Chord Assistant. This is very, very powerful as well. It makes it really easy. And basically all these chords are spread out or displayed in fifths. And all the minor ones are on, seem to be in the middle there. And you can just choose your root note. So let's say I wanted A minor as my root note. I just right click it, assign to pad and use as origin. So now A minor is my one chord as you can see there. So you've got one chord, two chord, three chord, four chord, five chord, six chord, seven chord. And in this triangle here, you know, these chords really work together. Classic pop songs all the way. So you get the idea, you can come outside of this triangle as well. So I'll let you play around with that in your own time. But what I'm going to do is literally just drag some of these onto the project window. And if you want to obviously record your own piano playing, then obviously just do what we did before when we recorded the drums. Just make sure record enable is on. Set up your metronome and click record down here. So we'll start with a minor, C, G, and I'm going to go to D. Now I can close down the assistant 
and have a listen. I'm going to press full stop on my the number part of my keyboard, which is on the right hand side, the number pad. Press full stop, takes it back to the start, and space bar to play. Okay, that's fine. You may have noticed that I um, reduced the volume slightly up here, but there's a this can get a little bit fiddly. So if you just come down to Halley on here, click audio fader, and you've got a much bigger fader to play with. Okay, so let's funk these up a little bit. They're just a little bit regimented. Let's just change the timing. So I'm not sure if I mentioned that other than, there's loads of ways to zoom in and out. G and H I've already mentioned. You can zoom out over here as well and zoom in. And you can also just click and drag down in the timeline like that. I use kind of a combination of all of them. So I'm just gonna slightly shorten these notes here. Uh, you can either sort of drag in that like that, but sometimes it still leaves the if you go into it, well, if you double click and go into the editor, you can still see that the notes are still there. So you would either have to come in here and drag the notes back as well. Just make sure your snap is on. And that's how you get that note to stop at that point there. The other way of doing it, of course, is to just right click, get your scissor tool and come in here like that. And then just press delete, highlight it and press delete. So I want these sort of second and fourth chords to come in half a beat earlier. So let's just see what that sounds like. And I've actually made a mistake here, which is good. It means I can show you what, what went wrong. I thought it sounded a little bit late, and it's because my quantize up here, which I didn't check, so naughty me, uh, is on still on that swing, which is what we did in one of the other lessons. So basically, I'm just going to undo those cuts, put it all back to how it was. Always check your quantize, folks. Don't listen to me. Right, I'm going to go to sixteenths, and let's just try that again. Right click, get my scissor tool. Let's try that again, shall we? And of course, you can come in here and just extend that region and you'll also have to just come in here select your three notes and extend those as well okay so that's add a tidy bit more groove to it let's go in and increase the size we're going to zoom in vertically which will also show you the the notes will appear as you can see on the actual notes themselves now obviously if you want to add extra notes like let's say you want an extra A, hold down Alt or Option, and you can draw in on the wrong one. <laughs> you can draw in an extra A if you want to, or so you've got a bass note there now. Or let's say you want to move this C and invert it up an octave. So you just highlight it, hold down Shift and Up, and now it goes up. Or undo that. You may also want to just change the timings, again, like we did in the drums lesson, to sort of humanise it. So take off your snap or press J, and you might want to just, you know, make these ever so slightly more human, something like that. And then also on the velocity, you can then just sort of reduce the volume of the E note, for example, and increase that sort of bass note if you wanted to that kind of thing just so it's more of a human element to make that a bit more obvious obviously you wouldn't have it like that really but just showing it for demonstration purposes so I'm just going to quickly go and do that on all the other ones okay and now we can duplicate this over so just highlight them all press Control or command D so now we've got an eight bar loop that sounds like this. So that's how we add chords very, very easily in Cubase with chord pads. And in the next lesson, I'll show you how to record a guitar. So I'll see you then, guys. Bye bye.